Hi everyone, my name is Puna and welcome to Island Driver TV. Today we are here at the Navy Exchange for their car show. We're going to check out some of our regulars, but what gets me very excited is we're going to see some cars we don't normally see. Let's take a look. Alright folks, we spoke about cars and trucks we don't normally see. I have never seen this here before. This is a 1936 Chevy pickup featuring an LS3 motor and something very unusual about this truck. It's got a Mustang II front suspension. So cool. We also spoke about cars that we do see often. Here's one of them. It's for sale for $36,000. So let's see who can pick this puppy up and change it into something we don't recognize. So if you have been watching our show, thank you very much. But you've noticed that we've been filming a lot of Volkswagens. We had a Volkswagen event the other week, and I had just about enough of Volkswagens. However, one more Volkswagen won't hurt us, and I absolutely love this 1967 11 window bus. This is the last year of this door style and it is beautiful. So here's another vehicle that I have not seen, a 1939 GMC pickup rat rod. If the Mad Max apocalypse ever hits, you'd most definitely be styling in this. So it took me a little while to find the gas cap. Usually it's around this area. You'll never guess where it is, but we'll tell you exactly where it is after we take a look at some more cars. All right, here's another vehicle that I have not seen. This is an Oldsmobile. Mark owns it, and Mark's gonna tell me a little bit about it. Well, what we got is a 1987 Oldsmobile Color Supreme. Low-key, uh, the Broham uh, version. I got 70,000 original miles on it. This the last V8 that they uh, the Oldsmobile ever made. So uh, I fully restored it. It was a real rest bucket when I first got it. I got it from a man out there on North Shore. So. That is absolutely clean. Thank you so much, brother. Here's another vehicle that I have not seen and I absolutely love. This is a 2009 King Ranch. My buddy Will owns it. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. Will, what are your favorite three mods you've done to this thing? Uh, the front bumpers off of 2017 did some work to make it fit to the truck. The, the headlights themselves and the rims. The, the grill is off of a Raptor, right? Raptor inspired grill, yes. That's awesome. And the, the, the lights in the front, they're functional? Yes. So if you're up to date on Street Pulse, you may have seen this truck around. Will, why don't you tell us a little bit about your photo shoot experience with Street Pulse? So it was Mike Kitchen that was the photographer, and we found a construction spot near Pearl Harbor. And it was actually around like 8, 9 p.m. when we actually did the photo shoot, and it actually came out really fantastic. That is so cool, dude. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we're back here at the Rat Rod. Gas cap, remember that? Well, if you guessed inside the truck bed, you might be right. So I may have seen this car in another life, perhaps a Buick, maybe even a Chevy. I'm here with my friend Sonny, he's gonna tell me about it. Tell me more, buddy. Um, it's a 1950 Buick. It started off all original, beautiful black car. Ran, drove when I got it about 11 years ago. And just can't leave anything alone. So we cut the front clip off, put a big block Chevy, El Camino, means the Chevelle front end. Four link in the back, posi. Um, put a big block cam, a little over 300 horse, nothing major, but it'll smoke tires for 100 yards. And that's exactly what we want, right? That's what we built it for, yeah. It's not built to go fast and chase anybody, but it's, it's made to look good while I'm trying to. <laughs> that is fantastic. Sonny, I do appreciate your time, brother. Thank you. So here's a car that we have seen, but yet maybe our viewers have not seen yet. There's something a little different about this Z, and Mike is going to tell us all about it. Mike, what's up with the car? Well, I guess the biggest uh, new thing to the car, it has its fresh paint job. I just did it last year. So uh, that's the biggest new thing to the vehicle. Um, and uh, change up the body kit a little bit and uh, give it a fresh look. Awesome. So what are your three favorite mods that you've done? Well, the biggest thing is the paint job, the custom paint job that me and my friend Zach Clint came up with and painted the car um, with the addition of more carbon fiber parts uh, and tuning the car and actually making it not look fast, but actually be a little bit faster. So that's great. Uh, and I still have my same wheels. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. I love what I got and I, I stick to it. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Mike, I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Yep. All right, we're here with Uncle Tony. He's going to show us his custom cutout setup. Now, if, 
There's no cutoff. Right? Okay, these are it closed. Ooh! Oh! All right, we just heard that. We want to learn a little bit more about this car. Uncle Tony, tell us more. Well, uh, you just heard the cutouts on this thing and the engine uh, from a 327, I replaced it with a 350, uh, bore out 60 over, uh, and then a, a slight cam. <laughs> a slight cam? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds brilliant. Thank you oh, so thank much, you. Uncle. Thank you. with my friend Jesse. Thank you so much for being out here. But I want to first thank you so much for your service. I do appreciate it. Could you maybe tell the viewers a little bit about you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, my name is Jesse Wuji. I'm a Lieutenant Commander Select in the U.S. Navy. I've um, been in Navy for nine years now. I'm in the Navy Reserves. And, um, you know, I've been able to transition from doing Navy stuff full time to now racing in NASCAR. And uh, I, I used to be a super big car guy. I'm still, I am a big car guy, but I kind of got away from the street car world and going to tracks with my car to now racing professionally. And, um, you know, I've been able to, you know, have a lot of fun with my Corvette that I've had for about six years now. And um, also, too, I had a challenger at a time that really kind of got me into motorsports and racing and car stuff. And uh, all that stuff kind of together came together, which allowed me to kind of get to where I'm at now, which is racing professionally. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for that quick little montage. So we'll be right back and we'll divulge into his professional racing career.